Okay, the general idea is this. I don't exercise anywhere near enough, and I scroll TikTok way too much. So, after seeing Simone's tweet here, I thought to myself, I can probably make something that does this, not knowing if I actually could make something that does this, but I figured, hey, might as well give it a shot. What I plan to do is make a device that attaches to my bike, and as long as I'm pedaling away, let me scroll TikTok to my heart's content. It'll end up being kind of like the movie Speed, but instead of my bike blowing up, it'll just at me. Overall, a better outcome considering Keanu's not here, but if he was... But I digress. So we're gonna start with some prototyping and some breadboarding to make sure the basics actually work, and then we're gonna go from there. Let's get started. <laughs> It's working! It's working! Gosh. <laughs> All right, after many hours of prototyping, a lot of failed attempts, a lot of code revisions, and a lot of tweaking, I finally got the breadboard version of this absolutely finished. Now I just need to design a case for this, 3D print it, have it done, then solder all of the buttons, switches, and other components, and then install them into this case. And then I'll be ready to install it in the bike. All right, now that we're ready to install it, I just need my bike here. Perfect, so now let's go through a quick rundown of what it actually takes to install this and how all of this actually works. The first thing we're gonna do is install the magnet for the wheel speed sensor on the hub right here. And to keep things easy, I'm gonna use just a little bit of hot glue. And just a little dab of hot glue and the magnets. Perfect. Next thing, we'll use some zip ties to secure the Hall Effect sensor, tidy it up, and we're good to go. Then we zip tie the control box to the handlebars, tidy up the cable. And with all that, now that it's mounted on my training stand, I can now give you a full walkthrough. If you see back here on the hub, there's this little magnet that passes over this Hall Effect sensor. And every time it does, it'll send a signal all the way up through this cable to the main control box. Now once it gets here, I can then scroll to the next video, scroll to the last video, or even like a video, and it sends all these commands straight to the iPad. And all this is possible because the iPads have a built-in feature called full keyboard access. This feature means whenever I hit a button on a keyboard, it can send a command to the iPad to like scroll up to the next video, scroll back to the last one, or send that like command. So because this knows the rotational speed of the wheels and the size of the wheels themselves, it's actually able to use that to calculate the speed. And if it knows the speed, then it can limit the actions you try to take on TikTok so that you can't scroll to the next video or last video unless you're above a certain threshold and as soon as you drop below that it'll actually start beeping at you anytime you try to do anything and it's without further ado I finally fully introduce you to the Pelotoc the first piece of equipment designed to make it so you have to exercise to be able to scroll through TikTok and I think it's about time I give you a demonstration though uh, I don't think I'm quite dressed for the occasion I'm honestly not sure if this is better or worse but either way I'm ready to give it a test so I have everything set up so you can see the Pelotoc and the iPad at the same time the way it's working now if I were to hit a button it's gonna beep at me and that's because I'm not actually pedaling at all. As soon as I start pedaling and I get above the threshold speed, the buttons will light up and it'll let me start scrolling on TikTok. So let's give it a go. It's a little bit loud and obnoxious, but I hope you forgive me. And as soon as I go above 16 kilometers per hour, these buttons should go ahead and light up. And I can start scrolling on TikTok. If I like a video, I can give it a little like. If I want to go back, see what that last video was. I can just keep going and scrolling back. But as soon as I decide oh, I need to take a break, I will slow down and it'll start saying, oh, you're not pedaling fast enough. The buttons will turn off and then again, it just starts beeping at me. I did not expect this to work as well as it is. And this, like I said, is the first piece of equipment designed to encourage you to exercise by allowing you to scroll TikTok while you work out. So yeah, the Pelotoc actually worked a whole lot better than I thought it would, especially considering it's my first Arduino project, really. I mean, aside from using this instruction to make a light link. Yeah, otherwise, if you thought this project was cool, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Otherwise, just keep on making.